All right, guys, this game we're seeing a Syndra. I'm doing a uh, different kind of rune setup here. A lot of people, usually in this matchup, they'll just go like, I mean, it doesn't really matter what rune setup you take. The the one thing that stands out this game, though, is the fact that I'm going Resolve with second win unflinching rather than going uh, Triumph Tenacity, which is what most people would do in this scenario. However, I just think this is better, personally. I get a lot more sustain in lane, and then I also just get a lot of tenacity too. I don't necessarily want to build a Merc Treads this game. So hopefully this will be enough tenacity. I'm trying to stay out of his Q range. Hopefully I can make this lane phase a little bit. Um, informational for you guys. I know a lot of people struggle with this matchup, but this matchup's like mostly just mind games. Well, I missed the cannon sadly, but it's fine. We hard shove this wave before she can TP back. Place a ward here. Now we reset. Uh, first base. I kind of want to go Nashus through this game, but at the same time, don't really know. I'm just going to go regular boots plus an amp tome. Their jungler's top side. You got to keep in mind this guy still has flash. He did not use it on that gank, he just died instantly. But yeah, I'm running an electrocute setup with some resolve for sustain and taste of blood, of course. I feel like taste of blood is just better than sudden impact right now. Okay, the Singer's running Oom. I mean, she has double biscuit and one more corrupting, but okay, Grox is still here now. I'm late following this play. Shut up. Shut up. I thought I could, since I had blue buff, my Shumpo would like instantly come up after I flashed on the dagger there, you know? And then I just like, he auto, but I was wrong. I'm just a failure. Just don't, don't mention that. Might just have to cut that one out. Just say the recording was lost or something. I think that's the only, the only play there. Just act like it never fucking happens. I'm a failure. My parents don't love me. No one does. That death shouldn't matter though. I'm 2-1 and I already have my Sork Spike so this guy can't really play anymore. Also I believe the guy I'm versing is an auto-filled ADC player so... Obviously, he's not going to be playing the matchup optimally. Well, I guess we just win.
Okay, Pantheon just showed mid. Why? Because I can. <clears throat> I'm honestly, I might just skip the Nashers through this game, just rush the protobelt. Yeah, let's let's go uh alternator plus blasting one here, why not? One hundred and fifty three AP, we have four hundred and twenty one movement speed at seven and a half minutes in the game. This one should be done in my opinion. Yo, I'm actually really sad. I, I recorded um so, I don't know when I'm going to upload this game. I don't know if it's going to be... Uh... Right now it's April 27th, like 4 p.m. or whatever, right? I don't know if I'm going to upload it on April 28th. Don't don't know. Maybe I'll up upload on April 29th. But I was going to upload today on April 27th, but I, I had a recording. I was going to upload another commentary. I had a recording and it just bugged. Like, it just didn't actually record all of it, which really sucked. And it was a really good game too. So that's just why I didn't have a video today, or I guess yesterday, if you're watching it on the 28th. It's just because my OBS just decided to grief me and not actually save the entire recording. So here we are, recording another commentary. Dude, I'm so sad. I talked about a lot of like cool Katarina things in that recording. I might just have to repeat them throughout this, this video. If I remember what I said. Just trying to pressure this guy as much as possible. No one can be mid right now. Grogs was just bought. Not even taking a tower out of here. Just making it so he can't play the game. Just deny as much CS as possible. Yeah, this guy's just out of the game completely. And I have my protobelt in 520 gold. Obviously the matchup's a little bit skewed now. Like. Me being informative here doesn't really change anything. Like I'm just I'm so far ahead to the point where she can't take trades with me. I'm way too tanky. I do too much damage. But I'll still try my best to talk about what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clear one more wave and then we're gonna reset for our proto belts. Like I said, I don't know if it's really worth to rush the proto belt ever. We're just doing this game just because I mean we're like so fed gonna try to get a power spike as soon as possible. I've been playing a lot of Kali recently. The Kali is like just so much better than Katarina, it's crazy. Nice. We reset. We're gonna get a protobelt plus an amp tome. That will be our build here. Katarina is definitely not in like the best spot for higher MMRs currently. Really good trade. Now I can kill her here. She walks up. Alright, we force that guy to come in. Now we just push this, do the same thing. Starting tower. We have Herald, so Viego is probably just gonna. I guess we're battling. No way I got hit by a tower when I jump out on him here. That's kind of. Kind of sus, won't lie. Doesn't matter, my bot lane's smurfing this game. So is my jungle, so 
Probably just going to be a free win. He gets the tower here too. First tower in Arbiego. He's going to be massive. Um, doesn't It shouldn't really matter what I build next, honestly. Like, in this kind of game, I could go Zanya's. I could go Nashers. I can go Lich Bane. Uh, I will just go Lich Bane here. Just play for burst damage. Usually in this matchup, the Syndra would uh, stomp the Katarina in an early game. Although Syndra isn't the best champion right now, you still destroy Katarina in an early game. But he just didn't really understand his champion's limits. Okay, that's Cinder TP. I'm gonna run down here, probably pick up a few kills. Gonna hop this. Oh, jokes. Peace. Well, I don't know what they're doing, but I'll I'll take it, I guess. You see Gratis on Raptors right now? Oh, I'm sorry, I have my map cover on because I was streaming the other day. I always have my map cover on whenever I'm streaming just because uh, people ghost me. You don't know what ghosting is, it's just whenever. Someone on the enemy team just watches your stream. So to prevent that, since I play on two second delay, um, I just have to cover up the jungle. So the enemy team doesn't know where my jungler is 24 seven. Because people do that. They're desperate for LP. I'll take it off right now. Got my Lich Bane. I mean, honestly, I'll just go Majize here. Why not? Upgrade to an Aether Wisp here as well. <clears throat> 471 movement speed. We've still yet to kill the Pantheon though. He's our last uh, Relentless stack. This is how you want to play the game now. You just want to go for cheese kills. Yeah, like I was thinking before, I haven't been playing a lot of Katarina recently. This doesn't feel too strong. Wow, I actually got out of there. I'm so fast. What the hell? Almost have enough for my Lich Bane. I'm gonna stay a little bit. So the reason why um, I'm doing like this sort of build, so my initial plan this game was to go uh, Nashor's Tooth into Proto Belt, but obviously games change to try build situational items every now and then. Inside. Okay, I actually live. Yeah, as I was saying, so my plan this game was to go Natural Tooth into Proto Belt. Nice try, man. Um, I, since I've been playing Akali a lot recently, usually the build on Akali is like Proto Belt, uh, Zhonya's, and then whatever, right? Get Sword Shoes as well. And you get so much flat magic penetration with this build. Like, so you get six flat magic pen off of having rocket belt, right? Another 18 off of source shoes. That's already 24 flat magic pen. And most people in this game would usually only have like 40 MR or something because of runes. That's 24 flat magic pen with just boots plus uh, rocket belt. And then for every mythic item you get, 
for every legendary item you get, you get another five flat magic pen. So right now I have 34, right? Just with three items and sword shoes. And then if you were to take Sun Impact, you get another six every time you Shunpo. So that's 40 flat magic pens. So pretty much with three items, you, you would do true damage to people that don't have any MR items. And the thing is, with the game right now, people aren't really playing any AP champions in top jungle or ADC. You're usually like the only AP on your team if you're if you're the mid laner. I mean, I guess that's going to change soon. People are going to start playing Rumble Jungle and stuff like that. But for the most part right now, people just play like AD tops, AD jungles, and ADCs, obviously. So you're usually like one AP with three ADs on your team. So the enemy team can't afford to build MR. So you're going to get to a point in the game where you have like above 40 flat magic penetration where you do true damage to everyone on their team and even if they build MR, it doesn't really matter because then you can still just build a void like fourth item or something. You just have so much magic pen, it's crazy. Like let's look at the Jinx. Jinx has 34 MR right now. I have 34 flat magic pen. I do true damage to the Jinx. It's crazy. Like that's a lot of damage. Let's just base here. Actually, I'm gonna catch this next wave. Oh, I'm really fat, I didn't even notice. I'm just like chilling, just talking. Pretty hard to be like super in, uh, informative this game. It's just like, I don't know, their team's just running it down. But I'm trying my best to talk about things. Bro, what? He's one and three. How is he owning me so hard? Nice. They yeah, effed. Alright, that was a good game. Alright, I'll just honor my Viego. Honestly, this game is pretty short. Might just add another another game to this commentary. We'll, we'll see. But yeah. So, like I said with this build, uh, normally you would go Nashor's Tooth Rush into Protobelt, and then you'd have Sword Shoes, obviously, and then Zhonya's. And that's that alone gives you 34 flat magic pen, right? Because three, three items plus your Sword Shoes, yeah, you get 34 flat magic pen, and then another six if you decide to take Sun Impact. So you have 40 flat magic pen, and people don't really build MR. Like, they just can't afford to do it because usually you have, like, three AD champions on your team. So it's just really strong. You do lots of damage to carries. You pretty much do true damage to carries, like literal true damage to them because they have no MR against you. All right, guys, I'm versing a, a TF this game. Yo, I didn't record the champ select, but oh, there's a word here. I, I like almost, just almost took armor instead of MR this game before I realized that it's going to be a, a Zed jungle. Oh yeah, sorry for like the light, it's like going on my hair. It's just the uh, because it's five p.m. right now. The sun's going going down, and my window face is west, so I'm getting blinded, even though my blinds are closed. But yeah, this matchup, um, this guy's a, a pretty good TF player. I'm assuming he went bone plating. So I, I won't expect me to have any kill pressure this game against him. I, I did in fact go ignite teleport just because, like I said, I don't feel like I'm gonna have any kill pressure on him. So I think it's just better to be able to match his roams. I also have Relance Hunter. I went Taste of Blood instead of some impact, and I went Triumph Tenacity. Something I've been doing a lot. Um, even in a, in a previous game I recorded. Don't know if I'm gonna be uploading that one. Uh, I went Resolve with Unflinching. That's another, like, I went second win, Unflinching. And that's another, like, fine rune tree to take if you're against CC uh, mages or just champions in general. But you gotta keep in mind, like, you should only do that if you really need the Resolve, if you need the Sustain. 
Like, in the game I, I took second win unflinching was a game where I was against a Syndra, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get poked out a lot. But in the TF matchup, you shouldn't get poked at all. Like, I mean, yeah, sure, maybe the TF will go, like, um, electrocute with Ignite or whatever, but even then, if you're playing well as Katarina, you're not gonna get poked out to, like, no health always. So it's not necessary to take Resolve secondary. It's just, just go Triumph Nasty in this, in this matchup. It's just so much better. You don't need the extra sustain. Uh, I actually will ward down here. I was gonna ward down here earlier, but because my rumble's gonna be here, but should be fine. My bot was able to get a cheater off. That's good. I can also just freeze this wave. I could have gone on a cheater recall as well, but didn't really want to. I'd rather just ward. I think this guy's basing as well. Oh, he's saying, okay, I'll stay as well. I want to try to get Sword Shoes on first base, if possible. I like that the most. If I can't, then I can just go with a Hextech Alternator or a Blasting one. That's also fine. But preferably, I want to I want to get Sword Shoes. One more wave and we should have it. Okay, this, I can't clear this. It's about to expire. We're actually up 6 CS in this lane. And yeah, I went over this in a previous video, I think, but I don't think it's ever worth to go D-Blade anymore unless you can guarantee that you're going to kill your laner in like the first like couple levels. Because as soon as you get one kill with Dark Seal, then I I'm pretty sure it just outvalues D-Blade because you get 10 AP. And then you also have to keep in mind you get more sustain from this than you would with D-Blade because you get a refill potion. It's just cost efficient. Man, I'm like getting blinded by the sun. I, I really hate this. I hate the sun. Why does it even exist? The stupid question to answer that. I know, I'm stupid. Just gonna let the wave come into us. He's gonna start walking bot side because we're starting dragon. Oh, I guess he didn't feel like it anymore. Like, I don't really care if he gets a little bit of harass down on me. Not like it adds up to anything. I can't kill him, he can't kill me. We're just farming. Obviously with TF, they're always fine with just farming because their passive allows them to get a lead on you, even without killing you. All right, I'm just gonna base here. Okay, it's top, not gonna base anymore. All right, now we grab Sword Shoes plus an Amptome. Jeff saw his TP, I doubt he's gonna TP back to lane. Oh, he is, he's TPing back to lane for like one CS, literally. He got, he got one actual CS and then he got two CS worth of XP. That's what he used his TP for. Meanwhile, I just base, walk back to lane, don't really miss anything. And now we have TP advantage. I'm gonna try to get a ward on bot side here. Crab is up. Just place the ward here, should be fine. <clears throat> don't really know how strong Zed Jungle is, so I don't know if I should be like afraid of his ganks. Like I don't think they can just one-shot me with a full combo. Maybe they can. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm just gonna start walking up here. Maybe we can dive this guy. I don't know. It's gonna be hard. No, it's not a dive. 
There's a weird bug going on with League right now where it automatically enables V-Sync. So you have to, like, even though it's not actually showing it's enabled, you have to, like, enable it, then disable it. That's all. That's all we can do. It's really hard to kill this guy because of how far back he's playing. It's fine. These are just how most high low uh, Katarina matchups go. You just can't really kill your laner. You just play for a CS lead. Look for roams eventually. They aren't as fiesta. Zed's top side, just spam ping that so our Pantheon knows. I'm gonna start pathing to bot. I have TP for top of the battle. I doubt they're gonna dive him though. As soon as in this bush, TS playing for prowl in mid. Okay, he did heralds. I'm just holding my TP whenever there's like a, a fight. Okay. No way, you cancelled him. Honestly, I wouldn't have had a TP anyways. My TPU is grief, regardless. Alright, all of his roam plays are working. This is not good for me. No way the Zed really tries to 1v1 me when I'm two levels up, right? Ah, he was smart. I should have been buffering my E on him. I don't know. Oh, both of this guy's got his sum and his alt. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna wait in base for a blasting wand here. It's something you do whenever you're waiting for an item. You just walk up here. Place your dagger about now. Walk to the edge. Grab your item. Shumpo back. My team might just hard fight this. I'm I'm on my way. Can't pee anymore, but. Sheesh, okay. I wish he got hooked there, honestly. <clears throat> Pretty strong right now. Oh, TF is still bot. We're gonna grab one plating, then we're gonna shump out. There's a ward here, he cannot clear that. Wow. So Zed just comes mid just to place the Herald. 
Okay, we'll just insta-clear it. We just reset. I'm just gonna grab a ruby crystal. It's just one of those Katarina games where you just AFK farm for a while, wait for your power spikes, and then wait for team fights. As you can see, this isn't really a, like a fiesta game. This is how most games in high elo should go. Three hundred for my proto belt. We just wait for team fights. And hopefully I'll be strong enough then. Nice, I'm gonna go mid. Sadly, I only got an assist there. I was trying to kill the uh, the Vayne. Didn't want to waste my R for her. Just to, like kill her when she was stealth. I was just hoping that I could react to her coming out of her stealth with my E. Hmm, I'm actually gonna clear one more wave and then reset. I can insta clear it because of how much AP I have. So I can do this. Nice. Get our proto belt. Next item is probably gonna be a Zonyas this game. I, I'm not gonna go Nash's tooth. We just need Zonyas. I'll just go ahead and pick up the one in cloth armor. Hopefully this will help me out. Uh, we're just winning this game slowly. Like our our vein or our, our Jinx is fed, our Rumble's fed. I'm getting strong now. We have our third dragon coming up in 45 seconds. We have a good shot at getting Infernal Soul this game, so we're just scaling. Maybe I can look for a kill in the vein here. TF doesn't have R, so. Yeah, she could not do anything against me there. <laughs> clear this ward and then clear this wave. Now we walk over. Don't really know if the vein healed, but it shouldn't matter. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, I couldn't get out. That's fine. They they entered to kill me. Got my stopwatch now. Like we literally just ace them again, pretty much. I like games like these. Slow pace. I get like 10 CS per minute. I become strong. Uh, I'm gonna path the top here. We're gonna play for Herald. We have about two minutes until it despawns, so might as well just grab it. Just keep spam pinging it so my teammates understand it's up. But yeah, next item's gonna be Zonya's, and then honestly, I'll probably just go Void Staff third. If I don't need Void Staff, then I'll go Lich Bane. It just really depends on like the items that they start to build. This is one of those games where, since we have double AP, 
it is okay for them to go like hex drinkers and stuff like that. It's just normally you're gonna have like triple AD on your team just because of the meta. So the enemy team can't afford to build MR items against you. So your flat pen from Proto Belt plus Sword Shoes just owns everyone. Ow. The hell, man? I can just TP here as well, if needed, but I don't think so. I'm just gonna run to top lane, catch this wave. I'm slowly climbing, climbing this count to Challenger. It's like 360, 370 LPGM right now. I haven't really been playing Katarina too much lately either. I don't know. The, the champion itself like isn't in a good spot in high elo compared to a lot of other mid laners. Like I'm having so much more success just spamming a Kali. And it's crazy. Like I just play a Kali now and just win like almost every single game. I have like a above a 60% win rate with her. I don't think I need a TP here. Yeah, I'm just gonna push another wave. This should be fine. Alright, we're just gonna hit top tower here. Probably get the entire turret. Nice, and we get the entire mid tier 1 2. Might even get just the, the tier 2 as well. Alright, now we reset. We have our full Zonyas. Um. I'm just gonna anticipate them building MR, so I'm gonna start building my Void Staff. Just got a Blasting one, I mean we can always just decide to go Lich Bane anyways, since we're building Blasting one here. Almost level 14. Yo, my ADC and my jungler are putting in work. I have 29 flat magic pen right now. And it's just gonna get increased by five for every single legendary item we get. There's no hard shell this top wave in. No way the Zed tries to 1v1 me here. I have so much armor. Just start pathing down. Their top wave is getting owned. TF's top. Just fight mid while we can. What? I literally hit EW on the wave. Why did my protobot go off without my E going off? What? Well, I'm gonna kill you. Maybe I'm not. I was hoping I would just get vision on him right here, and then I jump for the dagger. But like, whatever, man. 
we just win the game. I guess it's that easy. I didn't really do much, but just farm. Just play my lane out. Kind of a boring game, but that's just how some games are. Can't really just choose to pop off when your laner is playing TF with Resolve and Merc Treads Rush. Yeah, they have a little bit of MR, so it is worth to go avoid here. They have so much MR in the Ornn. They have the Locket on Thresh and then Merc Treads on TF, so I get a lot of value out of these, uh, out of the Void Staff here. Once I complete it. Alright, we just play for this Nash now. Just playing with him a little bit. Alright, we'll just TB back. Let's get a Sheen here too. Got him. Just padding the KDA. Didn't do too much that game, but at least we won. It's good. Give my Jinx the honor. She kind of popped off. Plus 19. I did like no damage. It's crazy. Well. I don't know what to say. Don't think I was too informed about the game because it's kind of hard to be informative. But hey. If you like the video, drop a like, leave a comment on this build. Um, yeah, I think I talked about this in an older video, but with this build in particular, you can pretty much build like any item you want as long as you get Proto Belt, either first, second, or third item, and have Source Juice. Because you get so much Fly Magic Pen, and like most of the time, you're going to have three AD champs on your team. So the enemy team can't afford to build MR unless you're like literally 1v9ing. So a lot of the time, you're going to have like 40 plus flat magic pen while the enemy team, everyone has like less than 40 MR or just like 40 MR. So you pretty much do true damage to every carry, right? Like this game, for example, I, I was literally doing true damage to the Vayne and the Zed just because of my build. So you just have like an insane amount of burst. It feels like older Katarina, like a season or two ago. Like if you guys remember I, with the old room pages, when you actually like customize your own room pages, with like glyphs and stuff like that i would have like i would do like 21 flat magic pen it was so nice but obviously it's not a thing anymore but it kind of kind of brings you back to that you know where you have like 40 plus flat magic pen and you're just one shotting everyone so yeah if you like the video drop a like leave a comment on the build and i will see you guys in the next video peace i love you